<clears throat> Hi everybody, I am Delta Prime and you are watching Delta Prime Reviews. So, last, in the last two videos, we got back into Autobots. And those are the last two Autobots I have for right now, I swear. So now that we're done with Autobots and Decepticons for now, let's go ahead and get kicked back into Beast Wars. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know that Beast Wars is my favorite show. The animalistic transformers are amazing. They're half organic, they're half robotic, and they're absolutely wonderful. It's a great concept that I absolutely enjoy. And the Japanese series, Beast Wars Second and Beast Wars Neo also are also based on that idea. And if you watch the Japanese series, you know this guy as Lyle Convoy, which is what I know him as, even though this is Transformers Legacy Evolution Leo Prime. I know him as Lyle Convoy, so we're going to call him Lyle Convoy throughout this figure review. Um, my Beast Wars Neo fans might know that we are getting a Magmatron come July. I will get a hold of that at some point when it comes out. I promise you that. Might not be right after it comes out, but I will get a Magmatron, don't you worry. I'm working on getting Tigerhawk. As well, and I have Tasmanian Kid come in, so. When Silver Bolt comes out, that'll be near complete of the Legacy Beast Wars. I just need to get his repaint. And we're, and we're good to go. His what repaint being Nemesis Prime. Or Nemesis Leo Prime. Also known as Copy Convoy. In Beast Wars the second. At first I wasn't going to get it. But I think maybe I'll get it at some point. We'll, we'll see though. We'll see. So. This figure. As I've mentioned multiple times. Is from a Japanese exclusive Transformer series. Called Beast Wars the second. So when this guy was announced. Everyone was shocked that we would get such a figure because Leo Prime in what he's known in the West, in, in the US is not a very common character. There's there's been I want to say six other Leo Prime figures. Throughout the years. Six others. So this makes number seven. That's the least. That any Transformer toy. Has gotten. I'm pretty sure. So. This. This was a very obscure poll. For the Americas. But I'm glad they did it. Because Lyle Convoy. Is one of my favorite characters at, of all times. Definitely a great prime or convoy in his continuity. And yeah, I'm glad to have him in my collection. He's fun. The transformation is very complex. But it's still a fun transformation nonetheless. So let's get into articulation. Head is on a ball joint. He cannot look up. He can look down if you unpeg. His neck head can kind of rotate. The ball joint is very tight. There are shoulder swivels. You have to get that out of the way though. Hinge at the shoulder. So what the thigh kind of Limited due to this and shoulders are shoulders, 
fists are articulated for transformation. He has thigh swivel is very tight though. No, yeah, no upper waist swivel. Waist can go, her, he does have a waist swivel. No upper thigh swivel here. But there's one here. Legs are moving out, forward, and back. Knees are double jointed for transformation. There's a swivel here too for transformation. And there's ankle rock, ankle pivots. So, as you know, evolution has a gimmick. Strictly called evol evolution. So, his evolution node. Pull out this. This is one evolution mode. Fold these out. It's another evolution mode. Come back here. Unpack these. Like these and put them on each arm and that's another evolution mode. So he has three evolution modes total and lion mode he can do all this as well. I'm not gonna showcase that simply because it looks ridiculous. So we're gonna put these baton slash blasters back. Because they're also thrusters. Yes, just like Optimus Primal, this guy can fly. Oh, that just went under my switch. Yes, I use the switch case as a prop up. You now know my secret to getting my phone to scan. Congratulations. You can't have a gold star for that. Oh, all right. And these two, these do come off. These do come off. I just like to keep them on there. So he comes with four accessories. The two guns that you saw pop out here. And the batons that popped out of his back. Alright. Enough said about robot mode. Let's get straight into transformation. Now, like I said, this transformation is very confusing. It's very complex, but yet it's fun at the same time. Okay, not confusing. It's complex, and but also fun. So I like to start out with the legs. Simply because it's the easier point to start at. So you're going to turn this 180 degrees. You're going to turn this 180 degrees. You're going to bend the leg so it looks like this. And then you're going to fold the heel in. So we'll do the same over here. Rotate 180 degrees. Rotate 180 degrees. Fold the heel in. Than that. And here we have what I like to call Squat Convoy. Yeah, I know. It's just a silly name for it. Sometimes I like to leave him in this mode. Although, this mode does have his standing issues. Okay. Enough playing around with Squat Convoy. Oh, one detail I forgot to show, Case. 
This is Matrix of Leadership. It's right there. Instead of having an insert, a little, a little, um, instead of having a little matrix that pops in and out, it's sculpted in, which I think is a nice precaution, because if, if it wasn't sculpted in and it was an accessory, it would be, that would be one tiny piece that's easy to lose. So I'm pretty glad that they sculpted it in. Okay, so next you want to extend the lion mood head. I'll show it again. You just pull out, extend it, and do that. Do the same over here. Lift this up and pull this out. Extend the Lima legs and rotate 180 degrees so that the claws are now facing forward. Do the same over here. And you're going to rotate at this top swivel like this. And there's a reason you do that. Now, you don't necessarily do that first. I just like to do it now, just to get out of the way. Next up, come to here, and this works best if you have fingernails, which I currently do not. And open this up. And I'll open up a cavity. Next, take Wild Conroy's head. Fold it in. Now, you're going to move these up on a hinge. Just point them back like that for right now. This will allow you to come here. Pull this piece out and look at the, all that nice detail in there. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Look how well sculpted that is. They really pay attention to detail. So you're going to rotate this. Until uh, a mushroom peg that easily comes unpegged. Lift up a little bit and then rotate 180 degrees. Peg back in. Okay, this is where all right, peg these together. It'll peg in better once you get the head in place. Um, now this is where it gets a little confusing. Not confusing, um, very intricate. Going to fold this down. This will now allow you to swing the line head forward. Come to the back end and fold out the tail. I just like to do that now to get out of the way. All right, you are going to. You see that peg here? Peg that peg right there. There's a peg hole in here, and that's going to tab into. Do the same over here. Peg, peg hole. Take the fists, fold them down, they are tucking under. And now, right here, there's peg holes. I'll peg into the side of the line head right, right there.
Now this is very finicky. I often have to unpeg these white bits and Alright, now with that pegged in, you can fold this down to complete the front of the main. Now I'll go ahead and re-plug these back in. Now we'll come to the back here, and this will slide over and under, just like that. So... Move the lying mode hind legs down. And then slide and peg these into place. And here we have Lyle Convoy in his lying mode. I absolutely love this lying mode. It's amazing. I, it's a very realistic looking white lion. I wish the tail was white and it had the golden end. Would have been more show accurate if it was like that. I wish these were the same shade of gold. Alas, they're not. I wish there was a way to hide these bits. I understand that with the they were they already had a complex transformation on I figured that's about thirty four thirty five dollars so they did what they could and there's very little robot cable especially under the rope the lion mode now here's a close up of the face sculpt I'm not sure if you can see it but the eyes have pupils. Those are not on the figure when you get the figure. I had to color those in using a pen. It looks like that chimera from... From... Uh, from Full Metal Alchemist. Where he goes, Brother Edward, it's Hina and the dog mixed together and it goes brother edward yeah it was very creepy and that's what it looked like before i put the pupils on but it's a great lion mode jaw does jaw does open and close articulation is somewhat limited but you can get a running pose in there. But yeah, great line mode. If you see this figure, if you don't already have it, I definitely recommend you pick it up. So I have been Delta Prime asking you to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you feel inclined to. And I'll see you in the next video review. Bye bye.